What is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And for those of you guys that might not have known, Skype is involved in a court order in London, or not London, uh, for uh, by the European court. And there was this article that I read on Techno Buffalo recently, which link will be in the description below, so definitely give that a read. And they got, Microsoft got a court order uh, with Skype because the name of the uh, application or the program, the software, whatever you guys want to call it, is similar to the word Sky. And uh, the article is basically describing how the word Skype uh, pretty much gave it so many clues that uh, it involved the sky. And not only that, but the logo itself uh, with the clouds uh, being in there also indicated that it was very similar to Sky. And so basically this is more uh, on the politics side. Basically, uh, there are times where companies, when they're trying to name a product or a piece of software, whatever the case may be, they're just trying to name something of their creation or whatever they bought. Uh, then they have to think about what they're naming it so that way it doesn't get or violate any copyright issues or violate any laws in general saying that, that you know, this a piece of item that you just created or you bought and then you know selling it or distributing it as your own must not have a name that is similar to something else so that's basically what this whole thing is about and actually in the same article it also stated how that the company had to change the name of SkyDrive to OneDrive uh, that's why uh, you see OneDrive instead of SkyDrive okay, so uh, here's my thing about this if you're not supposed to name a, a certain product that is uh, similar to one another, then are these companies really actually uh, thinking carefully? Now, there are multiple flaws about this on how this could have happened and the company was not even aware of it. For example, the, in this case, Skype is involved with Microsoft. Why? Because that's their product. And Microsoft, this company is in the U.S. Uh, in terms of like their main um, corporation and then as far as where they go to get the parts and stuff uh, I'm assuming definitely out of the country but in terms uh, of like uh, you know uh, creating all these ideas and then trying to put them into uh, actual use into physical products or software uh, products then their main corporation is definitely here in the US and maybe Microsoft was not aware of the laws that was in the other countries in this case some European countries London could be one of them or uh, you know just pretty much anywhere they're selling their products out of the US but at the same time now that I'm thinking about it that might not be the case because if a c company were to sell their products to uh, a foreign country uh, that is not where the main corporation is living at, then obviously they have to know the laws of the other countries. Why is that? Because the governments and foreign countries happen to, I would assume, tell the CEOs, tell every single company that are trying to sell products into their those particular countries must follow all legal regulations and must not break any of them. All right, Apple's the same way because I heard that uh, their products needed to have like a micro USB port or something. I don't know if that was technically true or not. I think Apple was able to get away with that uh, and they just have to keep fighting for it in order to get what they want and assure uh, the uh, governments that, uh, you know, there's this is not gonna be an issue. So basically, wherever you're trying to sell a product, whether it's in a different country, different state, whatever the case may be, must uh, follow all the local or the legal regulations of that particular region or country. So that's pretty much what this whole video was about as far as what do I think about this? Well, I think that companies are, uh, you know, because not everybody's perfect, all right? Not uh, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Research in Motion, they're all not perfect. They all have their own flaws. That's why uh, people prefer one operating system over the other or uh, one company's products over the other. So the, that's why they all have flaws because they're all not perfect. Therefore, there is no one uh, out there that can say, I'm iPhone all the way. No, 
that's not the case because I know uh, a couple of people who say that and then you see them using another product. Uh, you know, for instance, there's this guy that, uh, you know, he, I know, uh, he'll, he says uh, he likes the iPhone, uh, he always defended it, and you know, then he gets into all those you know, silly arguments such as like Apple's more secure than Google. Uh, okay, well, listen, they all have their vulnerabilities. <laughs> And next thing you know, I see him over another tablet. It's not an Android tablet. I don't know what kind of tablet it is, but it's just something else other than, than the, an Apple product. Because if you're going to say that your iPhone all the way, then that means you're Apple all the way, and therefore all you have is Apple products. You don't have uh, anything else. No well, Galaxy smartphones, no Galaxy tablets, uh, no HTC and Motorola products. Well, uh, even if you're using a feature phone, or if someone uh, in your family is using a feature phone that is uh, made from a different manufacturer, uh, you're, you're not all uh, for one particular company. So that's why they all have their own flaws. Some people just have different preferences. Uh, therefore, each company operates differently, and sometimes not all of them uh, understands the complete the loss of a particular location. So what do you guys think about this? Do you guys uh, uh, feel that uh, companies uh, maybe not understood uh, the loss carefully uh, in anywhere in the world or do you just feel like ah oh, they're just trying to get uh, find a back door uh, around uh, those particular laws and just uh, you know do whatever they want because if that's the case boy these companies have a lot of explaining to do uh, once uh, the loss is coming. So that's it. Uh, I'd like to see what you guys say in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check the description below for my social media links. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.